With Keeper, user provisioning is both flexible and powerful, and there are a number of provisioning methods to choose from to fit the size and needs of your organization. For small-scale deployments, admins can manually provision individual users. Simply click Add User, select the node you would like to add the user to, and enter their name, email address, and optionally, their job title. Clicking Add will generate an email inviting the user to set up their Keeper account. If you don't want to send an email just yet, you can disable the email invites from the role enforcement policies. You can also provision multiple users at once as a bulk import with a CSV file. Simply drag and drop your formatted CSV file of users or click Browse Files to upload the file from your local device. Review the user details and click Add to complete the import. Check the box next to a user or multiple users, and from this options menu, you can resend the email invite at any time. To access advanced provisioning and authentication methods, select the target node, click the provisioning tab, then select add method. Keeper supports several methods including single sign-on authentication and just-in-time provisioning with Keeper SSO Connect Cloud or Keeper SSO Connect On-Prem. Provisioning with Active Directory or LDAP Sync using Keeper Bridge. Skim provisioning of users and teams through any supported identity platform such as Azure AD, Okta or Google. Email auto provisioning for universities and large organizations. And for enterprise customers, command line provisioning with Keeper Commander SDK. Each node and subnode within the Keeper deployment can provision users with different provisioning methods. However, we recommend that root-level administrators are provisioned manually through the console using the master password login method.